Hello there. <laughs> right? Never get so. So what are we watching today? We're watching A Nightmare on Elm Street. The first one. I think there's eight movies. Yeah. Eight movies. So what do you know about it? We haven't seen it before, have we? So. I know that there's a nightmare and that it's set on Elm Street. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Robert Downey Jr. is in this. Bruh. No, it's Johnny Depp. Oh, is it Johnny, De Cause Johnny I, Depp? Because I, I thought I thought it was either Johnny Depp or Robert Downey Jr. I think Downey it's Jr. a really young Johnny Depp, but... Um... But it was like his first major role, wasn't it? Because he's really young in this. He's like know, a teenager. Like I knew it was Freddy Krueger, but I kept having Jason in my head, and then I had Diane Krueger. But that's an actress, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> well, well uh, the, the director of this is Wes Craven, who is also the director of... Um, the Hills, the Hills of Eyes. And um, Scream. I've seen Scream. Yeah. The one thing, the one thing that I didn't like about uh, the Hills of Eyes is some of the sound editing was really like off. Like you know when they do um, ad lib, ad libbing. Oh yeah. So they record the audio afterwards. Yeah. There was quite a lot of that in Hills of Eyes, and it was so noticeable. And also there was a lot of zoom shots. How old is the film? This film here. Nightmare on Elm Street, nineteen eighty four. The Hills of Eyes was in 1977. But this is meant to be Wes Craven's best film, I think. Oh, is it? Apart from Scream, so... Oh, okay. All right. Let's watch A Nightmare on Elm Street. This music's so creepy. It should be an it. <laughs> Where even is she? <laughs> yeah, how do you even get yourself in that situation where you're in a, a factory, a factory in there. a dress? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that she is not really fast enough there. <laughs> she might be dreaming. Oh yeah. That's why she's in a factory. Not dreaming. Nightmaring. <laughs> This is like the first and last time we will ever see Johnny Depp in a horror film. Is that Johnny Depp? I think it is. I'm the right. This is the most normal character he's ever played. Yeah. It's amazing you saying that. That made me remember the dream I had last night. What you dream? I dreamed about a guy in a dirty red and green sweater. Oh no. What about the fingernails? So what's going on here? An orgy or something? Maybe a funeral, dickhead. It's just a sleepover date, Rod. Teen and me. Is he friends with them? Yeah, it was a bit yeah. Yeah. <laughs> harsh reaction. If one, if one of our friends pulled a knife on us like that as a <laughs> joke, baby, I don't know. He's that I don't know how you do it. He's that classic jock character, isn't he? Oh, 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 so that's what it's supposed to sound like. That voice was a bit creepy. Oh, wow. What was that? Oh, it's coming out of the wall. Yeah, that's weird. Oh. Oh. That's weird. Please, Doc. This is God. That is disturbing. Gina! Who did this? That was pretty cool. That was so well filmed. Yeah, that was so cool. This is the dad of her. Oh, yeah, it must be. How you doing, baby? Girl Christina Gray had quarreled earlier with her boyfriend, Rod Lane. Oh, God. I mean, you would wrap her up a little bit better than <laughs> the media's there. Straight razor or similar sharp object has not yet... <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Did you do it? I never touched her. You were screaming like crazy. There was somebody else there. You just move away from us, son. <laughs> what are you doing? I didn't know brush, mate. Hold it! No! Jesus Christ! Oh, it's a uh, dad, isn't it? Is not always what is real. According to she Shakespeare, there was well. something. The uh 
Oh god, no. Oh, you never know when you're sleeping. Are the imagery in this is so much more creepy than the Hills of Eyes. It's insane. <laughs> it's a good excuse for having characters follow something disturbing, yeah. isn't it? Being in a dream. Yeah. Uh, he likes to cut himself, doesn't he? That was a good scene, but then the weird techno music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was like a rave. It. Yeah. That's it, be ready to never sleep again. <laughs> Yeah. There was this, there was this guy. He had knives for fingers. Oh hell no! <laughs> <laughs> why is it? Why is it just those? Do you think I did it? Oh hell! Hundreds of people a year get killed like that, honey. I know, but I'm okay, mother. Is that true? I'm you. It's okay. Oh, no, people get crushed by vending machines. <laughs> yeah, but that's one of the biggest causes of death. Well, no, it's not, but... What? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> vending machines. More, than more people more get than killed sharks. by vending machines. More yeah, than get sharks. Shot. That's what I meant. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's right. Watch a horror film. That's Evil Dead. Is it? Yeah, she's watching Evil Dead. I've never seen it. Yeah, we'll be watching that soon. Is this before Edward Scissorhands? Before Edward Scissorhands? Well, with Jenny... Yeah, Johnny Depp. Yeah, 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 100%. Edward Scissorhands was like in the 2000s. Was it? Yeah. Nah. Yeah, with Johnny Depp. 1990. What, with Johnny Depp? Yeah. Bloody hell. <laughs> I thought that came out when I, when I was a kid. Yeah, so only cool. six years after this. Yeah. Mm. He went weird quick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what's real anymore. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Gwen! We can already walk through walls, can't we? What the hell? That's cool. Oh, yeah. that. Hold me, please. Save me. <laughs> Don't tell me. Oh, she's still dreaming. There's a. There's a pillow. Uh, um, nah, yeah, she's not what's dreaming. Going on. Come on. Some stuff comes into the yeah, real so world, exciting. and some Garcia. stuff doesn't. I've got to see Rod Lane again. Look, we have reason to believe that there might be something uh, very strange going on. It's going to look here. like he's got no argument with that. Oh. What are you doing here? Rod! And a red and green sweater, really dirty. And uses these knives no like giant fingernails. That, that looked like they knew him. Oh, you were home. I thought they, a few days until she found herself They thought she was mad. I've got something better. I'm going to get her some help. It'd be interesting if Freddy Krueger knew the parents and now he's torturing them by killing their kids. Oh, yeah. Everyone's got to dream, young lady. If you don't dream, you go. Okay. Yeah, but my dreams are killing me. <laughs> <laughs> so what's she doing now? Is she asleep or awake? Something's wrong. It, it never gets this high. <gasps> What's she doing? Is she dreaming? Nancy! Get her! Get something! Is it burn? Uh huh. I brought something out from my dream. Where did you get that? 
What the hell? I would be like, I'm like, I'm putting you up for adoption. <laughs> <laughs> Everything happening to me if I just getting good and loaded. <laughs> <laughs> Touched a nerve there. It's just a nightmare. That's enough. What do you mean it's just a nightmare? She's getting cut up in her nightmares and she's bringing stuff back that weren't there, like <laughs> in reality. Whenever I get nervous, I, I can't just ignore that, especially when it comes you can't to your do kids. That you sleep. They just put bars in the windows. Come down to the cellar with me and I'll tell you. No. <laughs> <laughs> How about no? <laughs> A bunch of us parents tracked him down after they let him out. We found him in an old abandoned boiler room where he used to take his kids. Boiler room? Go on. Oh, I like that. Start. Let the whole thing up and watched it burn. She's a blooming nutter. <laughs> Murderer. I grab the guy in my dream. You see me struggling, so you wake me up. We both come out, you whack the fucker, and we got him. Are you crazy? Hit him with what? You're the jock. You have a baseball bat or something. No zoom shots so far. <laughs> what, like the hills have that? Yeah. She asleep. What was that? I missed that bit. Scre screeching. <laughs> oh god. Is she unplugged it? She's definitely asleep. Uh, I wonder when that was gonna come out. <laughs> I'm never going on the phone again now. Oh god. No! Oh. No! <laughs> That stretcher for him. <laughs> Just come here and break the door down in exactly 20 minutes. It's like he's home alone extreme. <laughs> Some paint cans above the above the stairs. Maybe a tarantula. That guy called him home alone, Marv. Yeah. <laughs> Marv! <laughs> Ten minutes. It's not long enough to fall asleep, is it? It is if you haven't been to sleep for seven days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Yeah. 
I take back every bit of energy I gave you. You're nothing. You're shit. <laughs> yeah, she's not afraid. If she's not afraid. <laughs> You're nothing, you're shit. <laughs> <laughs> Best line of the film. But is this real? Hey, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. What the hell? So what did you think of it? I'm just getting over the ending. <laughs> the best thing about the film by far was the practical effects. Yeah. All of the different, uh, all of the different scenes with Freddy's weird elongated arms. Yeah, that was pretty and then cool. The bath scene with the hand. I thought when the first, the first girl died, where she was climbing up the walls and on the ceiling. Oh, that blood, was insane. That was insane. That was insane. I thought that scene. was a that's brilliant a classic, sequence. That's a classic scene. Yeah. Already in my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and I same. haven't even seen the film before. The worst thing about the film, though, is that it borders on comedy. I don't think that was obviously intended the uh, the uh, the humour, but I think that comes with when it was made and us reacting to it now. Because yeah. horror movies nowadays are a lot more uh, realistic and and grounded and gritty, and and uh, and I think. The eighties was kind of corny. I mean, it's such a unique idea, especially for the first film that obviously had never been done before. Yeah, it'll be interesting. We won't watch all seven movies, but it'll be interesting to see the most recent remake and see yeah. how that compares. That score of the end, the weird. Well, the it has a really kind of sinister score, doesn't it, with the childlike nursery rhyme? But then yeah. that techno score was kind of like in the eighties. That would have been more. Yeah. I th I don't I, I didn't really like the score. There were some some elements of the score where they were where they were a bit more subtle. I liked that, but the the techno stuff I think it it gives you a bit of nostalgia, but at the same time I think it took takes me out of it a little bit because it doesn't make me scared. It makes me want to rave, yeah. like you said. It's what would you give it out of ten? Bear in mind, I gave The Hills of Eyes eight point seven. Eight no, sorry, not eight point seven. <laughs> I gave it six point seven. Six point seven. Yeah. I'd probably give this. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go seven point one. Seven point one. Seven point one. Yeah. So I thought. I think it's a really good film. Yeah. But hold. I don't know if it holds up as well as perhaps some of really? some other classic horror films will. We'll have to find out. Seven point one. I think that's. I think that's maybe a bit on the. Uh, Are you being conservative so, with that? Yeah, I think a little bit. Maybe seven point two. I can push it to. What okay. would you give it? Um, see, I was being conservative with the Hills of Eyes, but now watching this movie in comparison, I'm I'm kind of glad I gave the Hills of Eyes six point seven. I'll probably give this film a seven point five or seven point eight. So I'm gonna go with a seven point six. Seven point six. I'm gonna go seven point two then overall. For me, his best film is still Scream. Oh, okay. So you've I, I haven't seen Scream, but you've seen Scream. Haven't you seen Scream? Scream? Oh, no. I haven't Scream seen any is amazing. Of them. I've seen like the spoofs of Scream. Yeah. Like a scary I, movie. Yeah, like a like scary that. movie. But um so you've seen Scream and you still think it's better than a Nightmare on Elm Street. I think Scream is better than a Nightmare on Elm Street because it's more self aware of, of the genre as well. Okay. So it'll play on tropes from from things like this that he's done before. But okay. you can see his sort of progression as he goes. Well, I definitely saw his progression from The Hills of Eyes to this film. The directing of this film was like a hundred times better than The Hills of Eyes. The effects hold up now. Yeah. And it's such a good film now because of the practical effects. Yeah, hundred percent. Right? Whereas uh, the the only bit, the only effects in there are is a bit like yeah, where the where it was coming through the wall the very first time and he knocked the cross off. Even that though, yeah, it was a bit naff, but but 
it was still good for a 1984 yeah. movie. It was frustrating in some areas because of the uh, acting on all of the characters, but overall, I thought there was nothing major that took me out of it. No, yeah. It, just, just, just the occasional bit of uh, Freddy Krueger being a bit like. Yeah, but even even the comedy, it didn't take me out of it. I just, I just thought it was part of the experience and part of the the reason why it's such a great classic horror movie. Uh, and it's such a great watch nowadays because you can laugh at the corny bits, and you but it's still scary in some yeah, other parts. Yeah, it's always good to have a um, a question at the end of a film, really, as well, isn't it? So leaving the audience to work it out for themselves. She's uh, yeah. definitely dead. The end. The ending. I, I still don't understand it. To be no, fair. what's happened is she was still dreaming, and uh, she's been killed as well. All the kids were. Yeah, killed. all the killed kids were killed. And Freddy so. Krueger's left to terrorise people for another eight films, apparently. So. No, the end is a dream. The end is a dream. Is this a dream? <laughs> <laughs> so the end is a dream. They're not all dead. The end is a dream. Um, the end is her dream, right? Yeah. They are all dead, but it's her dream. But is she dead? She's been. She's going to be taken off and killed by Freddy Krueger at the end, yeah. Okay. Let us know what you think in the comments below. What would you rate this film, the original? and uh any of the classic horror movie recommendations yeah i think next time i'll be picking the film um and you i won't tell you what it is until the day uh but yeah we'll see you in the next video